A lot of people are asking me, because I'm a real estate stats geek and have been for over 10 years now. I've been tracking the Denver real estate market with a fine tooth comb every month, going through the reports and the data. And it's been amazing since 2013, our market's been really crazy. You know, bidding wars, home prices going up eight, 9% a year. Well, 2021 was one for the record books. In 2021, we saw median home prices increase over 19% from December 2020 to December 2021. And for the year of 2021, we averaged less than a half month of inventory of homes for sale. Normal is supposedly six months. So we were like 12 times under that number. And we ended December with 9.7 days of homes for sale. So that means if no new homes came into market, we would be out of homes for sale in, in 10 days. So what I've done is I've created a table here comparing the fourth quarter of 2020 and the fourth quarter of 2021. And so what you'll see on here is months of inventory at the end of 2021 was lower than it was at the end of 2020. And you'll look and see the median price increase December 2020 from 19 year over year was just a little over 9%. This year it was 19%. And that is a huge difference for us. That's something we gotta be you know, aware of. So what's gonna happen to prices in 2022? And so I have here just written down, just so you know, January prices went up 9% in 2021. February up 11, March up 13, and then in April, May, and June, prices went up over 20% year over year. And that was starting from a 9% increase in December of 2020. Now here in 2022, we're starting from December 21, where prices had increased over 19% year over year. Let me explain supply and demand in a very easy way to understand. Let's imagine you're a 12 year old kid selling ice water and glasses or cups out on a city street or maybe outside your home. Um, and there's 10 people in line, you're down to one glass left, one cup of ice cold water left. Okay, who's gonna pay the most? Is it gonna be the person who just came out of their house, out of their air conditioned home for that cup of water? No, it's probably going to be, say, someone who's been running for the last hour in 100 degree heat and they're dying of thirst. And I bet they may be willing to pay 10 or $20 for that glass of ice cold water. And that's what our real estate market is like. We have thousands of home buyers out there who have been running in 100 degree heat for weeks or months and they're willing to pay almost any price to buy a home if they can. And there's more than enough of them and that will keep home prices rising. Finally, I just wanna end this video with a scary thought. The destruction in Boulder County last week and the week before New Year's of where nearly 1,100 families lost their homes. And I honestly do not know how or where 1100 families are going to find a new home to live in right now because there's so little inventory of homes for sale uh, in, including boulder county there was 1400 homes for sale at the end of december where are these people going to live i'm really concerned for them because the market there isn't enough homes for them to buy or to rent right now and i'm afraid that this will cause home prices and rents to rise even faster up in the northern part, the northern metro area of Denver, Boulder County, Broomfield County, maybe Weld County as well. So don't be surprised if that happens. There's gonna be intense competition for those homes because these families are like the, the jogger in my story. They've been running in 100 degree heat for a long time and they're desperate for help. And so I'm worried for them, but I also realize it's gonna impact our real estate market you know, in a way that I wasn't hoping for. Yeah, so I'll just end this video. Please know I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to give you wisdom of what's probably is going to happen this year. 
And if you would like you know more of that, watch some more of my videos. Uh, feel free to say, I need help down below, or feel free to text me at 303-881-6374. That's 303-881-6374.